Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be my September favourites. But before I get into them I want to apologise for not having had a video up for I think it's two weeks now. I haven't been in the mood to put a video up and the video that I was originally going to put up, the Nymphadora Tongues tutorial, I wasn't happy with it and I tried to do it a second time and I didn't like the outcome there either. So I'm kind of trying to find a way but I've been really really busy this week and I haven't had time to film it. I think I have found the way that I want it and you will get it on Monday. Fingers crossed. Uh, so I'm just going to jump straight into my September favourites. So I'm going to start with the food item and that is the Kellogg's Cocoa Pups. This is my favourite cereal and in my opinion it's the best so I've had this I think for the last week almost every single morning then to the movie my all time favourite movie I don't know if I actually share this on the channel here is Pride and Prejudice it's also one of my favourite books um, and I have got both the 2000 and I think this is 2005 2006 edition with Kira Knightley and I've got the 1997 edition with Colin Firth, I think. Uh, but my, the first one I watched was the 2006 edition with Kira Knightley, and I absolutely love it. It is my favourite movie of all times. I think I've seen this maybe 50 times or something ridiculous like that, and I absolutely love it. Then onto the books, or the book, because I'm reading because it's just one. And that is Philip Pullman, Northern Lights, from his Dark Materials trilogy. I have the other two, and I'm working on the second one right now, but I just want to show you first all of the covers. Look at that. That's the first one. That's the second. Absolutely stunning. I think they are by far one of the prettiest books that I have in my collection. So... Previously I read the first two and they are one of the best uh, fantasy books there is uh, and I'm, I'm reading through them now in English for the first time and I love them. I still have yet to read this last one but hopefully within the next week and a half maybe. But this is the book that I was introduced to. I think I first read it when I was maybe nine or I tried reading it. I gave up a couple chapters in because it was too difficult and it is a heavy read I would say but it is worth every single moment of it it is amazing and I think if you love fantasy in any way shape or form pick the book up and try to read it then on to makeup and skincare because I've sort of bashed them together because there's not a lot of it I've sort of had a makeup less month with very minimal makeup but I'm going to start off with the number 7 Beautiful Skin Cleansing Balm. This is the dry to very dry skin formula. And this is amazing for taking off makeup. It is absolutely brilliant. I've used it a couple of times and I am in love with it. So I think this is definitely going to be repurchased when I run out. Then I have three makeup brushes. All from Real Techniques. I can't say that. Real Techniques. I have problems. Um, it's the buffing brush, the deluxe crease brush and the base shadow brush. Excuse the dirty base shadow brush there but it's, I had it with me when I was in Sweden last weekend and I used it and I haven't, I haven't got around to cleaning it yet. But out of all the Real Techniques brushes, this, these three as well as the contour brush and the accent brush I think are my favourites I would say. I absolutely love the way this works foundation in on my skin and makes it look really natural. And the deluxe crease brush, it's a crease brush originally and I've used it for blending eyeshadow and it's amazing at doing it. But right now I'm using it for working concealer or under my eyes and on any spots and I also use it for a foundation on my nose because I think the buffing brush gets a bit too big. And the base eyeshadow brush, or the base shadow brush, it's probably the best eyeshadow brush I've ever used. It applies eyeshadow beautifully, both creams and powders. It washes amazingly. 
And I also use this to blend eyeshadow in the crease and stuff, and it is amazing. So, if you want to try some real Techniques brushes, I would definitely say get get these. Get all of them, because I am going to. When I get the chance, I'm going to get all of them, because they are probably the best brushes I've ever tried, and they are really affordable as well. And then for makeup, it's quite boring. I've got my all-time favourite mascara, or one of them, and that's Maybelline The Full C's Volume Express, and this one is in black. Uh, this pro is one of the two that I've used the most this month. It's this and it's the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Waterproof one. But I love this one as well. And this is probably... I think I've gone through like three tubes of this. And it's definitely purchased every single time because I love the look it gives. It's super natural on the lashes. And I'm not a big fan of super clumpy lashes. I like it to be sort of just like natural coat of mascara to sort of darken them and lengthening them a little bit because my lashes they're quite long and quite thick anyway so I kind of just want something that will emphasize that a little bit without clumping them together because my lashes are quite sparse and I don't want I want to I don't want it to look like I have no lashes at all and then it's the last thing I'm going to show you is the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara and this is in dark blonde I love using this on my brows, whether that is on its own or with an eyeshadow or a brow pencil beneath it. I think it is absolutely amazing and it gives, sorry about that, it gives off just a nice tint of colour to my brows. Not that they really need it uh, when I use it because I have quite dark brows compared to my hair, which is red, but it used to be blonde and my brows were quite dark. Uh, but I love wearing it, so if I'm like in a hurry, I just pop this up on my brows and it looks natural and pretty and sort of not as thin. My brows aren't the thinnest, but they don't look super sparse or super thin and weird. And it holds them in place all day, and I absolutely love that. So that has been my September favourites. Thank you so much for watching, and please leave in the comments below what your favourites have been in September. Whether that is makeup, skincare, a book, a song, anything really. Um, and I will hopefully see you again on Monday with the Nymphadora Tongues tutorial. If not, I will have a haul up on Monday because I have bought a lot of stuff recently and there is. I'm going to film a haul right after this now. And I'm quite excited because there's a lot of new products that I haven't tried. Um, so it's going to be a big haul, either Monday or Friday, depending on whether or not I will be happy with the new Fedora Donks tutorial. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again next time. Bye!